Hi, welcome to Changes for a Lifetime. I'm Lolita. Today, we're going to be talking about nine time-saving tips. You know we all need more time, but this is a good time to subscribe, like and share because you're gonna learn something new every time I post a video. So today it's gonna to be nine time-saving tips for you. Keep watching, keep watching. Tip number one, touch it one time. So that means put things back in their place when you go to put them back. Don't put your keys on the counter, have a designated place for things and touch it one time. When you're sorting mail, the same thing. Put it where it goes so you don't have to be going back and forth, back and forth. Tip is touch it one time, put it in its place. Tip number two, have a routine and write it down. I did a video about making a morning routine and doing a craft, making it like a, a picture. So create a morning routine, things that are important to you, morning or evening, things that are important to you, write it down, do it every day so that nothing is missing that's important to you. This is not a to-do list. This is a morning routine thing that you do every day. Write it down, save you some time, it sure will. Tip number three, clean up before you go to bed. Take 10 minutes to do a quick tidy in the room that you use the most. It could be your family room, your living room, your kitchen, wherever it is, take 10 minutes just to do a quick pass. When you get up in the morning, you'll be like, whew, great start to the day, at least this room is done or in order. That's tip number three. Tip number four, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. So that examples of that would be pack your gym bag the night before so you can just get up and be ready to go. Or do a five day bag, not bag, but a box, those long boxes that you slide up under the bed. Make your clothes for your children five days in advance and have them all separated per day all the way down to the socks and shoes concept behind this is stay ready so you don't have to get ready. That will save you so much time in the morning already having it done. That's tip number four. Tip number five is the two minute rule. That means if something takes you two minutes or less to do, just do it right then and there and get it out of the way. You get so much done instead of having to come back to it. Do it right quick make it happen. It's tip number five. Tip number six, you all, don't get caught up in social media trap or what they call it the rabbit hole. Just get up in the morning, don't go right to your social media. It's a waste of time. An hour before bed, don't get caught up in social media. You'll be on there two hours before you know it. Don't do it, trust me on that. Number seven is to have a timer so you don't lose track of things, of time rather. So when the timer goes off, that means stop whatever you're doing. Your time is up and go on to the next task. I use this on everything almost. I take the bathroom and the kitchen and the office. Don't lose track of time. And if you don't want to use a time block, it's called, use what's on your phone. There are all kinds of timer apps, but use them so you don't lose track of it. Number eight, you cannot tell everybody yes when they ask you to do something. Watch your time, because when you say yes to something, that means you're saying no down the line because you've already used up your time. So watch what you say yes to. And when you tell somebody no, you don't need to give them an explanation. No, I'm sorry, that's not gonna work for me today. Don't even say today, because then they'll give you another day. So what you say is no, but thanks for asking. And keep it moving. Number nine is use a calendar. Write down what you're doing every day. Just a, a word, out to the golf, work. Write it down so you can go back and look at it and tweak your life. 
tweak your life. But you can see I haven't spent any time with family. I haven't done anything fun for myself. Write it down and you can see it and adjust it because you know we need to be trying to enjoy our lives, right? And if you don't see what you've written down on your calendar, you'll know that you've done that. Or you'll wonder, where did the time go? If you write it down, you can look at it and see what you did with your time. Write it down, make the vision plain and clear and tweak it. So I hope these nine tips to save you time will be beneficial. Use one of them, something to help you. So I appreciate you watching Changes for a Lifetime till the end. Peace and blessings to you all. I'll see you on the next video. Please subscribe. That is truly motivation for me to keep going and going. Have a good day, you all. See you in the next video. Changes for a lifetime.